Hello, Just Too Good here, back from the review, and today we're reviewing the first LEGO Scooby Doo set. It's set number 75902. It's called The Mystery Machine, has 301 pieces, three minifigures, and retails for $30 in the United States. Where did I get this from? Well, I got it from eBay. I mean, they always have early releases there, and I guess they're showing up in stores in the United States. And since I had a few eBay gift cards left over, I kind of used that to buy this set because it was just a little bit over MSRP. So now let's take a look at the minifigures. So first up is Shaggy, or Sammy as he's known in some countries. He is a totally new minifigure for 2015, and really just a great portrayal of this iconic cartoon character. I love the printing on his shirt and the use of the short dual molded sleeves, which is finally great to see those in some wide release sets. On the back of his torso, he does have some printing as well. And his face print is very well done. I like the little bit of scruff he has on his chin. And his hair piece is completely new as well for this minifigure. Very intricate in its molding. It looks really cool in that kind of caramel color. Now, he does have an alternate face, which you can see right there where he kind of has a little bit of a worried look. Here is Scooby-Doo. What a great looking mold for him. Just like Shaggy, he actually does come in every single set, but they do have different versions of him. There's actually two different molds for his body. This one is the one that's kind of standing up with his paw up. And you can see he does have some printing all over the body. Very cool molding, like I said, but he is actually made out of two different molds. Those are the only two pieces on him. You can see this version has his teeth kind of showing like he's worried or like it kind of shows out in the cartoon. But uh, basically how the mold is used or how you kind of put it together is there's this head right here. And it just kind of slips into that kind of pole piece right there which is already molded into Scooby's body. And that's it. Very simple but very effective and it allows you to kind of turn around his head. Also his little tail right here is rubber while the rest of this is kind of a hard plastic. So... Very cool minifigure right there, and that's it for Scooby-Doo. And here is Fred, and this is actually the only set that you could get Fred in, unlike, say, Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. And he does come with this nice magnifying glass, which actually does work. It's not a new mold whatsoever, but it works as a magnifying glass, which is very cool. And he does also come with what I believe is an exclusive printed 2x2 two two tile, which kind of sets the scene for the set, and you can kind of use the clues to find out who the villain really is or what's going on in this scene. He does have that nice ascot on his torso and a very cool face and a totally new hair mold, which works really good for, say, Malfoy from uh, the Harry Potter line, so I kind of wish they made that back then. And it works perfectly for Fred, so I like that. Very cool, and even some ridges on the back of his hair right there. And for his double-sided face, he does have kind of a scared look right there, which looks pretty cool. And also some back torso printing all the way at the top. So here is the zombie minifigure, and it does look actually really accurate to the show. And he doesn't include an alternate face to kind of show the real identity of the zombie, which is a little bit disappointing considering all the other villains in this whole line do have their alternate faces kind of reveal who they are. And he does have some kind of nice printing on the back of his face, which kind of indicates that he isn't a real zombie, and some nice printing on the back of his torso. And it's really cool how they use the spring green color to kind of portray this minifigure. So the two builds of the set consists of the mystery machine and then this little robotic tree. Well, for those who don't like stickers, this may not be the set for you because it has a total of 23 stickers. So for the mystery machine, which is, like I said earlier, it is kind of using a lot of stickers, they did do an excellent job with the design overall, so I'm very happy on how it came out. So don't let the stickers turn you off too much. Now you can see all those stickers are kind of lined up. These are two separate stickers, and there's a whole row of separate stickers right here. But they use a lot of nice lime green and medium azure to kind of portray the iconic vehicle, really. It's one of the TV's most recognizable vehicles out there. And it really works. I mean, it has this nice new kind of windshield molding for the front windshield, which is an 8 wide or 2 by 8 kind of thing with uh, 6 studs on the top of it. And there are some printed pieces, like, for example, these little uh, tops right here are actually printed, which work really good and the same goes with the one or the dish on the front of the whole car right here so that's a printed little dish and the whole thing actually opens up which you can kind of see on the back right here which you can open it up by kind of pulling on these and there you go it reveals a lot of stuff inside which reveals some even more stickers and then if you want to get a better look at that all you have to do is take off the top right here which works very well 
So for the back, there's kind of this cooking area right here, which has a little stove, and they even include a cute little sandwich right here, which is a very cool build and something that Shaggy and Scooby will really like, which that comes out very well. And then they even have the sink right here, which is another simple build. And these rows of kind of jumper pieces right there are actually used so that you could stick Scooby-Doo in the back right here. And also it's used to kind of stick the little magnifying glass if you want to put that equipment out there or in this back area right here. And so that fits very well. And then you have this little flashlight right here and then this little camera. And other than that, uh, those... So that fits in very well. And you also have this little flashlight right here, which of course is just a very easy minifigure kind of handling flashlight build. And then you also have this little camera right here, which again is just a minifigure camera. And you also have these little bulletin boards right here, which are stickers. And those kind of have some clues and maybe some stuff for the research of this monster. Then you even have these little high-tech radar dishes on the back right there, which are, these are all stickers, except this little printed uh, tape right here, which is an older print, but uh, still works very well. So that kind of gets covered up once you cover this whole thing up, so it kind of gets blocked out. And other than that, they do have this front area right here, which fits two minifigures. And you can see it's quite comfy up there, and they even include this little stickered control kind of deck right there, and also a uh, steering wheel. So that's it for the set, and the only kind of disappointing part about the size of this is that it's going to be very hard to fit the whole mystery gang in here, and I don't even think you can fit them just because of just how crunched up the back would be. So that's a little bit of a shame, but other than that, very cool for the price and it works very well. So here's a tree robot. It's meant to be controlled by the zombie and they have a whole control part on the back, but from the front, it kind of gives a menacing look. There's a sticker, and then there's actually these bulge, mini bulge joint arms, which have a lot of articulation, which is really cool. And also there's these little branches right here, which also have a little bit of articulation as well. So that's kind of a cool design. And the arms right there are actually meant to be used to hold Scooby or Shaggy, which you can see comes out to look really funny. And then for that whole part on the back, you can see they actually use a sticker for the little control panel right there. And they have that little gem, which is what the whole mystery gang is looking for. And also you would kind of place the zombie on the back little part right there. So. Pretty cool build there, doesn't look too bad, and let's take a look at the box and then the final verdict. And the boxes for the set look so well done. They kind of keep that cartoony look to them, great background right there. And there you go, they actually have some app information, so there's an app to kind of zap or something like that. Very interested on in how that turns out. Also on the top there's some detailing, and on the back they actually have some great artwork with all the little villains and minifigures for this theme, and all these little back kind of areas. And there are two instruction booklets, which have some interesting advertisements on them. Uh, this one right here talks a little bit about the website and even some DC Superheroes August sets. And they also have a great little cartoony ad for the sets. And then they have this one, which kind of shows a little bit more information about the app. And it says if you scan it or something like that, you could kind of unlock an activity. So overall, being what's probably the most important of the LEGO Scooby-Doo sets in terms of the build, I do say that this is a very, very good LEGO licensed set. Now, it is a $30 set, and I think that's really what stands out for me, because you get a lot of stuff to play with. They could have easily just included the Mystery Machine, but they even include this little nice walking, or not really walking, but little robotic tree, which is very silly. And they include four characters, which is really awesome. That's pretty good for a $30 set. And they include a lot of bright colors and rare pieces in that kind of medium azure color, which looks great. The lime green and medium azure makes it really a great interpretation of one of TV's most recognizable vehicles. My only gripe with this set is that I wish some of the stickers were printed because it's kind of hard to line it up. So I'd imagine even though this is a very simple build, it's a hard build just to put those stickers on all aligned. And I'm, I'd imagine that kids would have a hard time putting those on. And also it kind of sucks that you can't include all of the mystery gang inside the actual mystery machine because it'll just be too crowded and it won't fit in terms of them standing up or whatever. And my last, last gripe is a very small one. I wish they kind of included an alternate face for a zombie just so they could have him when he's revealed on his true identity. But other than that, very positive set, very great set in terms of the price, and I'd give it an A. I think it's one of the best $30 sets in this year. 
So that's it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this review. Currently, I don't have any more Scooby-Doo sets, but uh, I'll probably get some and review some later. So see you guys then. Bye.